Hello everyone. Uh, today we are here. Um, well, I'm just gonna say again, but you wouldn't know because uh, I made the video last night. But um, my plan was to give you an overview of how to install this um, fan that you see here. It's a Hangs Vortex fan, and it replaces the old um, fan that these trailers. This is a Forest River Surveyor 19 BHLE. Uh, they come with this little fan and you know if you have one of these you know what it looks like whatever um so i replaced that and i put this thing in uh and i had this video that i was going to put together but it, i mean it was like 30 minutes long and, and i you know i don't have video editing software so um i figured what i'd do is i'd give you an abridged version and just show you because i need to take it apart to look at something but just to give you an overview of what you kind of need to do in order to put this fan in. I mean, it's, it's going to be very similar to the same thing that I'm doing now to disassemble this. Um, so, you know, once you see that, you'll get a good understanding of what's going on. And um, I'll also link the video, that longer video uh, here. If you want to see the installation from start to finish, um, then you can see that there. Just keep in mind that this installation is for a Hangs Vortex fan, but we ended up um, putting in a speed controller. I don't think you can see it from there. Let me see if you can get over there. But you see like that little silver knob here. Um, this is a variable speed controller that I got from Amazon. And if you see in the installation video that I'm going to put in, um, and actually also comes with a little switch. I don't know if you can see it there. There's like a little black bit there. There's this forward and reverse switch. Here. Well, I guess we'll show you what it does since we're here already. So that's reverse. You can set the speed with this thing and then you can just switch directions by pushing this. And that's all integrated with that variable speed controller. Um, you know, the fan's not perfect, but I mean, it was like 50 bucks. So, you know, a Max Air fan is more expensive, 100 bucks, and then you just go up from there if you want variable speed. So, you know. But that was a good trade-off for now anyway um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and show you this the basically how you take this thing apart and uh just the things that you have to remove in order to be able to put this fan in um you know if you have any questions just leave them in the comment section and also take a look at the installation video if you really want to see um the whole process from start to finish and you know it's just really long i'll try to cut it short somehow uh, without video video editing software, I guess we'll see. Um, but yeah, any questions, let me know, and you know, hopefully you find this useful.